YouTube. She got not your average trucker. Coming to you on a Friday, June the 5th, 2020. You ever had one of them days where you wish you'd have stayed your ass at home? It's exactly one of the days I'm having currently. Coincidentally, uh, yesterday, or last night, I did an Amazon, uh, I had to go from Charlotte to Atlanta down to ATL 6 and back. So I started Amazon at 8 p.m. Wasn't done with it until about 7 a.m. Go home, take a shower, jump in the bed, then I had to drive a call out, so had to get back up. Uh, we had a load that had to be delivered in Columbia, South Carolina, so, you know, he hits me, I'm, it's like freaking 10 in the morning, so I hadn't even been in the bed two hours. I jump down here, go, go grab his truck, grab the load, <laughs> get on the highway, and had two freaking drive tires blow out. Not one but two at the same time. Didn't run over nothing in the road, none of that. Like I don't I don't get it, but I'm tired as hell. It's a damn Friday. It's raining, you understand? And this is how I have to spend my time. Which is extremely you know annoying, man. And that just goes to show you, man, no matter how, how good your intentions are. Or how much of a, you know, international paper chase you're on. You can't always control circumstances. Another thing is it sucks to, uh, you know, roadside guy, you know, they all give you the same spiel. They always be like, yeah, man, we be there 45 minutes to an hour. Just because they want your business. They don't want you to hang up and call the next man, you understand? <laughs> So, but it really sucks to be on the side of the road in a truck that you don't normally drive, so you can't even lay in the bed and take a nap, you understand? But here go, here go a view of what I'm doing. That look fun, right? That look fun. That looks like a really, really good time. But that's life, man. Oh. But coincidentally, on another note, I get a lot of people, uh, oh. a lot of people messaging me that's, uh, you know, about to start their own thing up, and they asking me my opinion, got rain on my freaking glasses, of whether to purchase a, a day cab or to purchase a sleeper truck. And I'm going to say it like this. Before, I, I currently have uh, three day cabs on the road. Everything else is sleepers. But the um, main thing I tell people is I was in business several years before I even bought day cabs. Because the one thing that happens when you first starting out and you know you want to do local stuff is you're probably running off a low board, right? So, unless you get lucky and, you know, you find you a broker that keeps you rolling or, you know, you find your actual, you know, customer, some dedicated routes. If you every day depended on the load board, then situations like what we're going through now with this, uh, this COVID-19 will show you, you know, once stuff slow down, then what? The thing about if you starting out and you, you know, one truck operation or, you know, two, three trucks. If you start out with sleepers, you versatile. Because yes, your idea, ideal goal might be to do local freight every day, but you come into situations where A, you come across a lucrative load that might require some overnight, or if things are slow and the only way to keep cash flow coming in is to do some, you know, some regional stuff, some, you know, maybe you go on two days, come back two days. You're just more versatile if you start out 
with sleeper trucks you understand because i get a few people hit me up they got day cabs and they stuff slow down and now they trying to book regional freight you understand going from north carolina to freaking uh illinois or something and they doing it in their day cab they gotta pull over some try sleeping in their day cab some wasting money on hotels and it's like yo if they had a sleeper truck they wouldn't have the issue you understand so my advice to anybody that's starting out they want to do local but they don't have like guaranteed local freight get a sleeper truck man that way you're not handicapping yourself you understand and once you do blow up or start uh getting more customers you know you can upgrade you know buy a second truck and let that second truck be a day cab you understand but you don't never want to handicap yourself in this business it's bad enough you got to deal with cheap ass brokers it's bad enough you got to deal with insane carriers that are willing to uh you know haul loads for dirt cheap you don't want to be in a situation where you're trying to feed your family and you gotta sleep in a day cab you understand but it's a guy not your average trucker man not too much uh too much going on like i say i'm down here on the side of the highway man i'm south carolina on i-77 I'm at like mile marker 51. It's like Blackstock, South Carolina or something. I'm like a good um, 35, 40 miles from Columbia, South Carolina. You understand? But everybody out there, man, TGIF, hope everybody's good. And like I, I'm going to say in everything into this uh, election go, middle finger to Trump, man. I hate that dude. And that's another thing. Man. I made a video about how much I hate Trump. I got people telling me I need knowledge of self. People telling me I need to educate myself and all that. Listen, man. Or people telling me I'm listening to corny news channels. My opinion about Trump is based solely on Trump. You understand? Words that come out of his mouth. <laughs> it ain't about some news station, CNN or MSNBC or Fox. Nah, nah, nah. When he stands up and talks, he sounds like somebody that has a fifth grade education. That's what he sounds like to me. And that is why I dislike him. In that video, I didn't, uh, I didn't say I supported Biden or Hillary or Bernie Sanders or anybody else. You understand? All I said was I can't stand Trump, and I'm not really a fan of the people that like Trump. You understand? And that's another thing. My opinion about about those MAGA people is based on conversations I've had with actual MAGA people. You understand? Every Trump supporter I've come across with in my life in like real life face to face have been some racist clowns period you understand so for all you dodos that think i was just out there talking because uh you know fox i mean uh cnn uh you know giving me fake news and my opinion is based off fake news yo go jump off a bridge man but anyway she got not your average trucker you don't want to see my view. This is my view currently, man. This is my view currently. And you know it's a freaking, uh, you know, it's a freaking Friday. So I'm sure they about to try to hit me in the head on these tires. I need two tires plus a service call. So all the people out there that own something, y'all know how this about to be. But everybody out there, be easy. Stay safe. You heard?